Now the next thing we need to do is we need to actually add an instrument. So if we go down onto instruments, at the moment we've got no test instruments included on here. So we need to add an instrument. Before we can do any downloads or uploads, we need to have an instrument added. So double click on there and that gives us an instrument. We can pick the type of instrument. Instrument In my case, it's going to be an Apollo 600. But you can see from there that we've got a massive range of different um, pat testers on there and even some non um, non uh, seaward products on there as well so you can see there's a massive range of uh, of test equipment that pat guards compatible with so first thing i do on here is i put in the serial number i will just put in a made up serial number just for now and what we can also do on there is we can add in any calibration details. So if I know it's been calibrated and it was calibrated today, I can put in the calibration certificate number and PatGuard will actually keep track of the calibration there and actually remind me when the item's due for calibration. So we set up uh, an instrument. If we've got multiple instruments, just set up more than one instrument on there. That's not a problem. Um, and we can actually put those instruments on, but we need at least one instrument on there before we can do any downloads. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we've got we've got an instrument on there, so we've done the setup, we've made the database, we've got the uh, instrument on there. Now, the next thing we need to do really is we need to actually start looking at the database structure. 